Look at the headlines over here. Maple Tree Industrial Trust DPU increases 1.2% to 3.43 cents for this quarter. Looking super nice, correct? And this after a period whereby some other REITs like Suntec REIT has reported a drop in DPU. Maple Tree Logistics Trust also reporting a drop in DPU. So the million dollar question, is Maple Tree Industrial Trust a buy right now? I've been a long-term bull on Maple Tree Industrial Trust for quite a while already. In fact, right now, it is the biggest holding in my portfolio worth more than $100,000. Today, coming to this discussion, maybe you're a shareholder also, or maybe you are interested in finding out a bit more on Maple Tree Industrial Trust. So what would you get if you buy Maple Tree Industrial Trust? Big picture, it owns assets such as this, data centers. Data centers are the backbone for cloud computing and AI. These are the hype words in today's economy, correct? And to invest in the AI, it need not always be into big tech firms like Nvidia, Microsoft, and Google. It need not also be only in US. Take for example, Nvidia has recently partnered Malaysia's YTL Power in a $4.3 billion project to build data centers in Johor. If you look in terms of share price, YTL Power actually went on a massive bull market doing a 2.5x gain. That's because there's big contributions expected from this joint venture coming out in 2026. So the tailwinds are large for the entire industry and it's not just in US but globally also for data centers. Maple Tree Industrial Trust gives you that allocation. More than half of its properties are data centers and it has a strong parent which is Maple Tree owned by Tomasic. But speaking about data centers, don't choose anyone. If you choose data centers read, yes, they have recently purchased the European data centers, but it's not the core of its business. If you choose Capital DC, I've mentioned in a previous video, I'm actually quite worried about their Guangdong DC's outlook. Then what about for digital core read? If you look in terms of share price, it's still 50% below IPO. So for me, I prefer a Singapore-based asset with a great track record. You can see over here the dividends history of Maple Tree Industrial Trust. Dividends are not taxable in Singapore, and right now you get a 6% yield. So how did Maple Tree Industrial Trust actually achieve this consistent dividend growth? Before I share with you the journey, smash the like button, or smash on the subscribe and journey me to 100,000 subscribers. Actually, 100,000 seems very far. Maybe let's tweak it to 60,000 subscribers, and let's get back to the point of understanding Maple Tree Industrial Trust journey. Right at the very beginning, it was mainly in flattered factories and boring industrial buildings. That's why it's called Maple Tree Industrial Trust. 2017, they ventured into US data centers. 2022, they've actually built a new high-tech park at Kalangwe, the one whereby you see it along PIE. In 2023, they made their first foray into Japan, acquiring a data center in Osaka. Just in this year, June, Maple Tree Industrial Trust has completed phase 3 of fit out works for this Osaka data center. And the last phase of work is expected to be completed by May 2025. So as expected, increase in revenue will be coming from this Japan data center. So how much exactly? If you like the nitty gritty numbers, then this segment is for you. Maple Tree Industrial Trust has right now broken down its business segment into data centers Asia and data centers North America. Previously, it was just data centers. And there's strong reasons why to break it down. Data Center Asia is where growth is expected. Right now, it's still pretty small at $11.1 million gross revenue. I've actually done the homework to pull in fourth quarter's numbers and first quarter 2023 numbers also to make comparison. And what you can quickly see is that there's high growth from this segment because of the Japan Osaka Data Center acquisition. Why there's a drop from fourth quarter to first quarter 2-4? I think it could be seasonal or it could be due to Forex. But overall, I think this is still the growth engine. In fact, analysts has highlighted that Maple Tree Industrial Trust intends to invest into Asia Pacific and European data centers. Sponsor Maple Tree Investments has acquired a new data center in Hong Kong. And all likelihood in future years, this could be injected into Maple Tree Industrial Trust. So again, expect data center Asia to climb rapidly in terms of allocation. Then what about for data centers North America? I've colored in red, correct? Because data center America right now is the problem. Previously, it was the growth engine. If we look in terms of year-on-year -year comparison or quarter-on-quarter -quarter comparison, it's still a decline. 
So where exactly is the problem? When I went to dig into the military industrial trust, I realized that their data centers in US span all across. And US is so big. Then when I read around, I got even more confused. Factually, North Virginia is the biggest data center region in US, commanding almost half of market share. Maple Tree Industrial Trust has assets there, but it's only a small fraction. In any case, North Virginia itself has problems. This is something I've ducked up looking at Digital Core Read, whereby it mentioned that there are power capacity limits in that region itself. Although data that they've shared suggests that vacancy level is low over there, it's probably still a very vibrant place to be in. Looking to here, I think it's important to trust the REIT manager to do their job. And speaking about managers doing their job, Maple Tree Industrial Trust has actually recently lost a long-term lease from AT&T. But they've managed to find a new healthcare tenant to take up the entire property. This is in Tennessee. So for this data center, it will actually be repurposed for this healthcare company. And it's a long-term lease of 30 years with escalation 2%. As UBK has highlighted, this will raise occupancy in US data centers back above 90% and probably stop the decline in terms of revenue over there. So when we look back into the segment information, I'm thinking if US data centers stop losing revenue, this is the biggest drag area, quite obviously. Then will Maple Tree Industrial Trust net property income start to climb or not? I think there's a real possibility of it because all other sectors are doing well. The next sector is high-tech building. This one is actually a growth area also. Quarter and quarter, year on year, is actually a significant contributor. Then the next one, flattered factories. This one is a legacy asset. A low growth area which has been cannibalized to make into high-tech business park. And coming to here, I have actually a fun suggestion for Maple Tree Industrial Trust's management team. Maybe should we consider changing name? Since Maple Tree Industrial Trust is no longer into factories and industrial buildings, and more into data centers and high-tech building, wouldn't it make sense to change from Maple Tree Industrial Trust to Maple Tree Tech Trust, MTT? Personally, I would like that idea. It seems very hip, and maybe it can help share price growth moving forward. So next, let's look at some summary numbers. Gross revenue has actually declined quarter on quarter, but operating expenses and borrowing costs have actually declined even more. That's why numbers look pretty good. The DPU for this quarter is going to be at 3.43 cents, but it should also be mentioned that this is going to be bumped up slightly because of the divestment gain from Tangling Hot Cluster. 13.4 million spaced out over 4 quarters, that means 3.45 million. If we were to adjust that, core operations DPU could have declined only by a little bit. But in any case, divestment gain is still divestment gain. It's still profits to shareholders. All in all, I believe that if you want to buy now, you have to believe the DPU for this year could be easily 13.7 cents. But more importantly, in the coming years ahead, if interest costs start to slide down further and data centers in US recovering, Maple Tree Industrial Trust can pay more than 14 cents per year. If that is clear, then you invest in Maple Tree Industrial Trust. What I see in them is a high quality management team, assets in a favorable sector with data centers having strong tailwinds for years ahead. That's why I have it as my biggest holding and if you want to find out more about my portfolio, check out this previous sharing I have and hopefully it inspires you also in your investment journey. Without sound from me, see you there. Take care as always. Goodbye.